As we mourn the loss of Trooper Casper and Thomas Christ, there is new information tonight about the suspect, Stephen Snyder, who has a criminal history in Fond du Lac. NBC26's Alex Hagan is live in the newsroom tonight with the details. Alex? Well, Stacey, a criminal complaint filed back in 1996 shows Snyder was arrested, charged, and later convicted of disorderly conduct as being part of a racially motivated gang fight. Following the tragedy that struck the Badger State Tuesday night in Fond du Lac. My prayers and thoughts go out to this officer and his family. I just don't like seeing any of it around here. Many are wondering who could commit such an act and what was his motive. Tonight we learn a little bit more about Stephen Timothy Snyder of Macomb Township, Michigan, just outside Detroit. In 1996, Snyder was arrested following a fight between a group of skinheads and another group of blacks and Hispanics. Court documents show the two groups pulled out pipes and what appeared to be baseball bats and started swinging. Police caught one man, Steven Snyder, who had several white power tattoos on his body and a coat filled with small printed cards promoting the National Alliance. There was 30 of them Lucas Soto the was 13 at the time and saw the group firsthand. It doesn't surprise me one bit. Not one bit. You see them all the time, walking around town with their shaved heads. Snyder served 50 days in the Fond du Lac County Jail. Now, Snyder does not appear to have any criminal record since that incident back in 1996. Reporting live in the Green Bay Newsroom, I'm Alex Hagan with NBC26.